Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to decorate our envelope junk journal. But first, let's have our shout out to Vicki, Judy, Miss Common Sense, Angela, Emma, and Barbara. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, I've had this for a little while, and I decided it was time to maybe use up some of our ephemera and place it into our envelope junk journal. Now, I just added these little corners, and I thought maybe that would be nice there. I have a lace pocket here. I put some lace around the edge. I didn't know about that there. I just kind of laid some things in. I thought maybe we could, um, I did this page right here. I think that's real pretty, and I think this piece of ephemera will go beautifully with it. And I also thought this little paper clip, altered paper clip, would be very pretty right across from it. There are some pages in here that I've rounded the corners. There's pink, there's white, there's very pale blue, there's yellow, and then there's another envelope back here, and then there's another envelope here. Okay, so let's just get busy, right? I was thinking, remember when we made this not too long ago? I thought, well, that looks really pretty on the front of this. And I also have a fabric ruffle that I'm thinking might look real nice on here as well. So let's just go ahead and let's just get some things done. I think I need to grab a clip to try to keep this closed. Let me grab one real quick. Okay, it helps a little bit. Oh, I also added some pearls and a heart and butterfly dangle on the bottom. So I think first I'd like to add this ruffle and I think I need to kind of fray it a little more maybe and see if I can get it to fit just a little bit better in that area right there. So let me throw that away. So let's see here. I think because there's a yellow envelope right there, I think that might look real pretty here. Let's see what we think now that we've got it cut. Let's place it right here and see. I think that's kind of cute right there. We could also put some pearls or something on there. Let's go ahead and get this on. Let's just start decorating it, right? And then we're going to put our little repurpose jewelry embellishment right here. So let's get that stuck on. Just like that. Oh, I like that on there. That looks really good. That looks real nice. Now, I'm not going to worry about the pearls right now. Let's open this up. I've got this little uh, ticket, two tickets and a postcard. We made that recently, and I thought that would look real nice right there. I don't know if we need another little something with that. Hang on while I grab a few little scraps of material and lace. Alrighty, I have a ruffle. I have some lace right here. I have some long string of net. Ooh, let's see, I want to be able to still get into this pocket. This. I kind of like this the best. Let's see. No. What if we just put it on top just like that? Sure. I think that will be just fine. So let's go ahead and let's put some glue onto here. And let's get this attached. Just right here, I think will be perfect. That sets up for just a second, 
And then we're going to put our, our little lace right there. I like that. I like that a lot. I think that will look real good. There we go. Yeah, I think that's nice. Now I just laid this inside this pocket right here. And we already put the little ruffle down below. So we do need to add a little bling right there. Shall we add gold bling? Should we add, uh, what color bling should we add there? We have blue, we have gold. Oh, let's see, maybe the blue might look best. Ooh, the blue does look nice. I think I have a little piece right here. Well, yeah, that brings in the blue of our little embellishment there. So let's go ahead and let's trim us off some of that. And put that down right on top. So using your pre-made ephemera really is a nice way to add some things. Now, you don't have to, you know, use all of your pre-made ephemera. And a lot of people say, well, I make my ephemera to mac match my journal. Well, that's great too, but sometimes, you know, it, it really is nice to have it pre-made. So let's see here. I was thinking if I put this here, no, that doesn't look good. Oh wait, that looks good. And then maybe... Oh goodness, what was I thinking? I was thinking something. I was thinking something with this. That looks adorable. We made that together as well. We made this one together too. But I really like it right there on that. I think the colors are awesome. And then it's that color on the back, which is really nice. So I think we should go ahead and attach that. Yeah, I really do. So I'm going to just put my glue right on my envelope flap. Just like that. And I'm going to just lay it right on. I don't want it right I want to give it a little room so I didn't put it right in the crease. Oh, I think that looks great. I do. I think that looks really pretty. The colors are beautiful. Okay, we'll have to find something to go inside here. Now, what do we want to do right here? Oh, there's where it went. We'll just put that right there, just like that. Now, I don't, since this is already a pocket, I don't think we need to make this into anything except for just a decoration. So I'm just going to put my glue on it and we're just going to make it into a decoration. Now I've got to get it on here. How about that? Oh my goodness, that looks so pretty. So we've got our front, our cover. And then we have our inside here. And then we have this area. We're moving right along, guys. What time is it? We're doing good. So here we are here. So maybe we could put, we could put maybe a flip out here. Oh, maybe a flip up right here or a flip down. That would be cute. That goes beautifully there, doesn't it? Um, all right, let me grab a, a little coffee dyed paper so we can make our flip and let's keep going. Okay, this is actually a piece of cardstock that has kind of got some coffee dye on one side and a little bit on the other and I think I'm just going to use this to make a flip very quickly here. So. We'll get that cut like that. We measure it here. That's going to fit nicely. We need to get our corner rounder. 
and we need to round our corners right here or if it will it's a cardstock I'm not sure yeah it'll do it okay there we go now no, a lot of this is not inked like that's not inked and this isn't inked so I'm not going to worry about inking this I am going to say okay it's going to come down like this and it's going to go up like that all right so I need to get my Tombow glue and I need to attach my flip onto the bottom of this beautiful journaling card just like this okay nicely done and then we will attach it right here so it will flip down this way and you can actually write on here and you can write on here I do think that I'm going to reinforce this by getting some washi tape I think that's real pretty there grabbing some washi and seeing about maybe a peachy color this might look real nice with that and opening this up and putting some right inside where this flap is just like that it just reinforces it and also adds a little something something oh I love it okay so here we are we're right here we have this little um, cluster that would be very sweet right there let's just go ahead and add that cluster right there we made this cluster as well together there we go and then here's one of these pockets that I was using in the B journal and when we shut this see the color is going to go very nicely I think I think I really like that I don't think that bothers me now we could put it up inside and not have it show okay let's don't have it show now that I look at it I'm going to mark it right here because I want it to be up right at that level and I'm going to just put some glue some hot glue down and we're just going to attach it right there I'm not going into the crease now there is lace on here and it makes a nice little ruffle that sticks out so we can add a little something inside here now what are we going to put on this side what are we going to put on this side I'm not sure about that oh look there's one of those fold out envelopes that would be sweet right there that's the right color and everything huh how fat is that? That's kind of fat. Here's one that's not fluffy at all. That's very, oh, the color actually goes a little better too. How does that look like this on this side? I don't think we want another cluster after we just put a cluster. Um, I'm just looking here. Oh, this one's sweet. This one's a little smaller. That fits very nicely. That's also one of those fold downs okay so let's attach that right there okay what time is it we still have a couple more minutes that we can do I don't want to make the video too long so and we want to review what we've done so there we go that's so cute right guys now here we are here now I have done this page and I showed you the little piece of ephemera and this is pretty now these are plain and so I'm thinking I might stamp them I don't think I'm going to put any um, I don't know if I want to put some tabs on them well I have to think about that but here we are here and inside here this is beautiful this is when I did the bee journal too 
this paper. I coffee dyed this side. And then look how beautiful this paper is. Isn't that gorgeous? I thought that would be absolutely beautiful inside this green colored pocket. I think that's gorgeous. And we have this that we made for the B journal. And I thought, oh, that's just, just beautiful, right? So let's just go ahead and get this put down. Oh, we need another glue stick. Here it is, right here. So let's get that in. And let's go ahead and we're just going to attach the whole thing down because it's already a pocket right there. So let's just get this on just like this. Oh, I'm loving how this is coming together and it's so quick and easy and fun. Fun, fun, fun. Look, here's another one of those little pockets. Now I could put it this way or I could put it this way. I kind of like it this way, right? And we could put it up. Now, I'm thinking we might need a little something more going on here. Maybe a, a ruffle. Where's that yellow ruffle? Here it is. How, how about a yellow ruffle? Because this has yellow on it. Oh, I think that's pretty. And maybe we could do like a label. Oh, look. That looks good underneath that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just mark this real quick right here. And then let's go ahead and get this done. Because we're just cruising right along here. I'm just having the best time. So let's put that on there like that. See my mark. I'm going to just lay it right down on here like that. Okay, and then I really liked the yellow, and I think we want it part on and part off. Part on and part off, and let's just give it a little snip right here, and then we can add some more up above. That'll look good. Some down below and some up above to tie it together. I'm having trouble with this closing on me. There we go. Oh, that looks good. I'm going to get a little bit more glue right here, guys. There we go. I hold it down so it really gets glue. It's attached, I mean. Now, up here, how about if we just barely catch it, because this one's just barely caught. So let's just barely catch this one. Do we want it that way, or do we want it this way? How about this way? And let's put that on, just like that. So all these envelopes are embossed. Whoops, I just dropped a bunch of ephemera. They're embossed, and they've been colored with some ink. This one's green, this the blue, and the yellow, the pink. We need something right here. That's beautiful right there, right? Now, I'm thinking we might need a little bit of lace, something heavier. Maybe something a little heavier. So I'm just going to get this and see how... Now this is a pocket, so we don't want to cover our pocket up. But I think that might be real pretty like that. Let's put that down on the bottom. So we have this here, and then if we put our lace right here, that's going to be beautiful. Could even maybe put a butterfly right there in that corner. Okay, let's get this on here like this. Perfect. Okay. And let's put this right here. This is where I'm thinking of the butterfly, right here. Let's get this on. Okay.
There we go. Now, let's see. There's a blue butterfly right on top, and there's a purple one. Do we like the blue one, or do we like the purple one? Let's see. Let's see real quick. Here's the blue one. And here's the purple one. No, I like the blue one. I like the blue one a lot. So let's go ahead and put the blue one on and just get it done. Because we're all about just getting it done. Let's get it done. And then what happened to that blue bling that I had already cut and we used some? Oh, sure. Okay, let me find my blue bling just a second. Alrighty, I have my blue bling right here. I'm going to put some glue on it. I'm going to place it right on my butterfly's body. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? Now we still need something in our pocket. I know that. But then on the back, now there was something that I said to myself, oh, that would be so pretty on the back, but I don't <laughs> remember what it was, so I'm not sure. So I'm not sure if I can find it real quick. Oh, here, maybe it was one of these. I'm thinking it was one of these. Okay. There's this. That's very pretty. There's this one. That's pretty. They're a little big though. I'm thinking it needs to be a little smaller. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. This is the back. This is the very back. Oh, here it is. It's got all the colors. It's got the pink and the yellows and the greens. And we're just going to round the corners right here. And I think it needs to be right there. And I don't think it needs to be a pocket or anything because it's the very back. It's, the, it's like on the back cover, what would be a cover. And so I think it needs to be just a decoration. Just like that. Oh, you guys, let's look at it. Let's look at everything that we've done here. So here's our cover. It's got the, the beads and it's got all the envelopes have been embossed and lightly accented with the colors of Tim Holtz um, oxide inks. And then we flip here our first envelope. And it's here. We need to add something in here. And then we flip our second one and we can add something in this envelope something in this piece of ephemera that we made and then we fold it over here and then this we made that to flip down so you can have more journaling spots and we flip this over and this one flips down and then this is a pocket we might add something on here and then we have our inside uh, journaling pocket with our journaling papers and then we have our beautiful yellow with our journaling paper inside our envelope and then our getting towards the back we have another pocket and I think maybe we might want to we can we can put some bling there maybe some bling here we've got to fill this pocket up we decorated this envelope and then our back oh you guys I absolutely love how this is coming together. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.